Joining me is John Templeton, who manages 39 mutual funds for a total of $17 billion, primarily in the global equity uh, arena. To make the maximum total return, you must not invest where the outlook is good because the prices are already high. To be successful, look for those places that are temporarily depressed where there's urgent selling. Shares never go down to really bargain prices except under the pressure of urgent selling. That every bear market is followed by a bull market. And the bull markets usually are larger and carry share prices higher than the previous bull market. You're long-term bullish on the United States. I'm long-term bullish on the whole world. We're coming into the most wonderful 10-year period in world history, not only for investors, but also the standard of living will quadruple in only the next 40 years. In, throughout history, it often took a 1,000 years to double the standard of living. Think of medicine alone. 50% of all that's known in medicine was found just in the last 20 years. In the next 20 years, even more will be found. Or in terms of books, 50% of all the books ever published were published in the last 50 years. 50% of all the scientists who ever lived are alive today. And this one is surprising. Two-thirds of all the people in world history who ever lived beyond age 65 are alive today. Tell me about yourself, 77 years old. How active are you in the management of your 39 funds? And uh, are you going to relax a little bit? <laughs> Yes, now that I'm 77, I tell my friends I'm approaching middle age. And it's true that I still work a full-time schedule helping people with their investments. But I also work an equal long time each week trying to help people to grow spiritually, to help with churches and charities of all religions worldwide. And in my investment business, I now have 450 experts helping me, so 95% of the work is done by others. But I'm still the one responsible for seeing that we hire the wisest possible investment experts and that they are following new methods that are likely to be best in the future. What is the proudest memory you have uh, of your investment career so far? Uh, helping 700,000 people. It really, I never expected that 700,000 people would trust their investments to us, feeling that we'll produce a superior result. So I have to keep telling them, don't expect more than a human being can deliver. We won't always be right. If we're right two-thirds of the time, that's a good record. There have been many years in the past when we lagged behind the other mutual funds that will be in the future. All we can promise is we'll continue to be diligent in searching worldwide and using the best possible methods. What is the outlook for world investing? It's the best it's ever been. More and more people are investing internationally. And that means more opportunities, better bargains, and less risk because you're diversified on a worldwide basis. But it also means more international brotherhood and friendship. When you're invested in another nation, you understand the people better. What a wonderful day it will be when the leaders of the former communist nations are invested in American stocks. That will lead to peace and brotherhood. Also, I think it will lead to higher share prices because the whole world is progressing so rapidly. Very few people realize that the trading on New York Stock Exchange is 100 times as high as it was when I became an investment counselor 50 years ago. The amount of shares and bonds available to trade is 100 times as high. And the amount of money invested in American mutual funds is now 1,000 times as great as it was just 55 years ago. This is, the financial field is a great growth industry, and the people who invest should now be mainly in common stocks because in the long run, they produce better results than other assets. What about the fears of program trading, the volatility, the fact that the market may crash, uh, things like that that may keep the little investor away? What do you tell them? Those are the opportunities. If the stock market didn't fluctuate, you wouldn't have the opportunities to buy low and sell high. If currencies didn't fluctuate, you wouldn't have the opportunity to profit from currency fluctuations. Because the world is communicates so much more quickly, because there are hundreds of billions of dollars free to flow from one place to another quickly, there will continue to be wide fluctuations, frequent fluctuations. So the opportunities to produce superior results are better than ever. Do you hedge at all with uh, the fact that you deal around the world with uh, futures? Yes, hedging is important. Ordinarily, we try to protect ourselves by wide diversification. 
with at least 100 different securities in each mutual fund. But sometimes you do have a case where you want to buy a bond of a nation with a very high yield, but you think the currency is going down, so you sell short in the currency at the same time you buy the high yield bonds. That's a form of hedging, and there are other hedging methods that sometimes are helpful. Our guest has been John Templeton, manager of the Templeton Mutual Fund Group.